Hello everyone in the next behind the scenes video. Today I am going to show you how to create your own characters for Skyrim battles. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First you will need creation kit and optionally Rybash if you want to use mods for your character. Creation kit can be found in tools section of library on Steam. You can find Rybash on Skyrim Nexus, link is in the description. If you want to use other mods to make your character, they need to have master file status. Most mods have default status of plugin file. To check what is a mod status, you can look inside the data folder and see if it is ESP or ESM file. ESM are master files and ESP are plugin files. To use ESP files in making a character, you need to change their status to master first. To do that, open Rybash, find the plugin you are going to use, right click it, and choose Add ESM flag, then OK. When the mod's font turned to blue, you are good to go. Now launch Creation Kit and click Add Master Plugin Files. Select Skyrim.esm, any DLC file you want, and the plugin you just turned to master file, then click OK. Wait until all files load, and then you can start working on your character. Remember, the more plugins are selected, the longer it might load and more errors might occur. Word of advice, select only mods you are certain will be used, so you have as little plugins selected as possible, and save often. After everything is loaded, go to Actors section in Object window, right-click anything, and select New. You are now in your new character window. On the left side of menu, there is a small separated section with base data. Type an ID for your character, one that is easy to remember. Give him a name and optionally short name. You don't need to tag any of these options. In template data you can select templates for your character and give them someone else's stats, inventory, etc. Remember you can only have one template selected for one character. If you want to do it manually, which is highly recommended, follow the next part. Select Preview so you can see how your character looks and how it changes. In Traits tab, select Race for your character, their weight, and voice type. In stats you can set the stats of your character. You can either set a level to be static or make your character level with the player. 
If you want them to level up, you need to pick the multiplier of their leveling, whether they will always be on a higher, same or a lower level than the player. You can also pick their minimal and maximal level. Next, select the class from the list. I recommend using the combat ones. Now you can either set your character's attributes manually, or calculate them automatically. In Keywords tab you can make your character to be, for example, immune to paralysis, unrelenting force, or blabberjack. You can also set its type, for example, if your character is a vampire, you will want to give him undead actor type, so it is considered as such by the game. In AI data you can set aggression, confidence to foolhardy and assistance. Mood determines what expression your character will have on their face by default. Select your character's combat style. Remember to save. Now to inventory. Here you can set their outfit and give them weapons. You can pick an outfit from already existing ones or create your own. To create a new outfit, go back to Object Window and find Outfits section. Right-click anything and choose New. Now type in ID for this outfit, so it will be easy to find in Outfit list. Then go to Armor section and drag and drop an armor piece you want to give to your character. Remember, characters will always use the best armor pieces if you add for example two chest plates here. Now get back to your character. If you didn't close their window, do it with OK, Save and open it again. Now you can find your new outfit on the list. Sleep outfit doesn't work from my experience, so don't bother with it. To add weapons, potions or other items to your character, right-click this window and choose Add. Now you need to select an item from this long list and optionally set its amount. Alternatively, you can go to Items tab in Object Window and drag and drop any item you want your character to have. Remember, if you add armor pieces with this method, your character won't use it. You can add shields, though.
in a spell list, you can add any spells, shouts, and effects to your character, as well as perks. You can either choose New in Spells and look on this list, or again drag and drop from Object Windows Spells tab. To add perks, you need to select Add option and choose from the list, or again drag and drop. Perks section is right under Actors. Now let's move to Character Gen Parts and Character Gen Morphs. These two tabs let us personalize our character's appearance. In Parts section you can choose skin colors and add makeup and give some basic features to your character. Morph's section is basically the same as character creation in-game. After finishing modeling our character's face, we need to export its face gen data. Save your character with OK, select it in Object Window, and use combination of keys Ctrl F4. This should prevent the so-called grey face bug. There you have it, you have created your own character. Now you need to check if your character works in-game. 
So launch the game with your new mod loaded, load any save and using help and player.plays add me command, spawn your new character. To see how they behave in battle, just attack them. Sometimes you need to run away to see them start using bows or spells. Remember that if you use mod manager like Vortex, it might ask to revert any mod you have changed to master file back to plugin file. You need to agree to that, as the manager will need to load your new character mod to load order. The master mod can remain like this for any battle, it just needs to be loaded above your character mod but you need to remember to turn it back to master file before any more work on the character. If you load your character mod with one of its masters, as regular plugins, it will remove it from master list, and your characters won't have anything you might have added to them from this mod. I hope everything was clear. In the next behind the scenes videos, we will thoroughly scan my character mods, so that you can create them yourselves. See you in the next video. Bye!